Welcome to Yogea. I'm Antonia. I'm so excited to do this complete beginner series with you at this beautiful setting, the prairie in Florida. Um, let's get started on all fours. Make sure your shoulders track over the wrists. Your hips are just above your knees. We're going to start inhaling here. Arch your spine. Lift your chest. Exhale. Scoop your belly in. Gaze at your navel. Inhale again. Cow. Exhale, cat. Two more times, inhale. Deep breaths and exhale. Curling and arching. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, take your right leg out to the side of your mat, flex the right foot, reach your right arm up and twist. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, now gaze down to stretch your neck, exhale. Inhale, your right arm goes under your left armpit as you gently hinge at your crease. The right crease of the hip. Hold here, inhale, lengthen your spine. You're gonna feel a little stretch in your lower back and your hamstring, exhale. And one more. Now bend your right knee. Make sure the knee tracks over the ankle. And place your right forearm into your right thigh. Reach your left arm up. A variation of right angle pose. Make sure the right shoulder softens down away from the ear. One more breath. And exhale, come to the center. Hands back to your mat. Take your left knee into the center so when you stretch your right leg up and back and you place your right hand, you gently lift your left arm off the mat. Feel the oppositional pull. And drop the right foot down. Step your left foot to the right. Bend your knees. Lift your heels up. Pedal your feet, starting on the left and the right. And again, left and right. Lift your hips up and back. Now slowly start to bend the knees and drop the heels. Bend the knees and drop the heels. And lift your gaze forward. Use your core to step your left foot forward. Spin your back foot in. Cartwheel your arms. Warrior two. Level your hips out. Externally rotate your left thigh. Reach your arms in opposite directions. Breathe here. Now straighten the left knee. Clasp your hands. This is in yin and yang bind. Left hand into the right. Point your thumbs up and down. Take them over the head and re-bend the left knee one more time. Mm 
One more breath. Spin your left foot into parallel. Bend your right knee. Lower your right hand into your right knee. This is one version and it's great. Or bring your right hand down to the floor as you keep your right knee bent. This is second version. Breathe in and out. Come back into fan pose. Spin your left foot out. Now take your right leg close to your left heel. Bring your hands into prayer and flex your left foot. Flat back here, breathe. You can choose how far you want to go. Flat back is wonderful. The hips are squared. You can go a little bit deeper or not. Now press through all the corners of your left foot. Find your center. Bring the right foot into your knee. We're not going to do a full pose. We're just going to try half of the tree pose. So the heel is slightly above the knee. Hands into prayer. Hold and breathe. Take one more breath. Beautiful. Send your right leg back. Take a reverent lunge, interlacing your fingers, opening the heart, and then dropping your gaze down. Right hand down. Take a twist. One more breath, left hand down. Coming into a low lunge. Wrap opposite elbows under the left knee crease and lengthen your spine. Hands back into the floor. Both knees go together. Inhale, reach your arms over the head. Exhale, bend the elbows. Clasp the hand, support your neck, and open your heart. Breathing here. Exhale, gaze down. Hands to the floor. Lower onto your elbows and belly. Coming into a Sphinx pose, slide your navel to the back of the mat. Press your hands to the top of the mat, shoulders over the elbows. Lift your heart. Fan your toes out, fan your fingers out. Take a little twist, gazing over your right shoulder. And center, and left, and center. Lower down onto your belly, bring your big toes to touch, interlace your fingers, lift your legs and arms, head, neck, chest, hold into a locust pose, and release down. Press the hands into the floor, curl your belly in. Walk the hands, so you're back to all fours. Inhale, cow, exhale, meow, cat, inhale, cow. As you exhale, take your left leg out to the side. Lengthen your spine. Breathing in and out here. Start to flex the left foot. Open your left arm up. 
Breathe, make sure that you line up shoulder and wrist. Lift the gaze up. Now take your left hand under the right armpit and lengthen your spine. Gaze forward. There's a little twist through your mid back. And left hand down. Take your left leg all the way back. Now let's find our balance from the core. Lift the left leg, extend your right arm. From the core, reach out in opposite directions and lower down, curl both toes under. Press up and back into downward facing dog. Slowly pedaling the feet again. Finding more traction between the arms and the legs. Keeping the knees bent still. Gaze forward. Step your right foot through between the hands. Come into warrior two. Spin your back foot in. Level your hips out. Externally rotate the right leg. Extend your arms in opposite directions. And your fingers. Now straighten your right knee. Clasp your hands. Point your thumbs up and down. And re-bend the right knee. Take your arms over the head. Come back to center, spin your right foot to parallel. Face sideways, now bend your left knee, take your left hand to your left knee and twist to the right. This is option one, option two, we did it on the other side, lower the arm down, twist, this is great too. One more breath. And come back to center. Spin your right foot out. Now from the core, step your back leg to your front heel. Bend the left knee, flex the right foot, hands into prayer. Flat back. You choose how deep you want to go. Press through the right foot. Here we are back to tree pose on the other side. Feeling the strong center. The hips are leveled. Press through all the corners of the right foot. Take your left foot above the knee. Hands in prayer at the center of your heart. Find the balance. Step the left leg back as you parallel the knee out. A gentle reverent lunge, opening the heart, releasing down. Left arm to the floor. Here's our right angle. Slide your left foot way back to the top of the mat. Lift your gaze. One more breath, and lower down, line up knees, coming back to our camel pose, interlace the fingers, open the shoulders this time, lift your gaze. And child's pose, open the knees out, to the sides of the mat, walk your hands forward. Bring your palms into your forehead and see how deep and how low you want to go. So this is great. Holding here in this hybrid frog child's pose or releasing your hips. 
to your heels and stretching longer. Walk the hands to the knees. Tip to the right, carry your legs forward. Hook the inner shins with the hands, flex the feet. Open the thighs and bring the knees in. Resist, lengthen your spine. And then curl back in, just like the cats and cows that we started with. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Now walk the feet in. Bring the hands behind your hips. Lift up into tabletop. Knees over ankles. Lift the heart. And lower down. Come onto your forearms and roll onto your right buttock. Take your left leg across, bringing the left heel into the right knee and twist your gaze to the left. Now lower all the way down onto your spine. Plant the right foot into the floor, relax your head. Drop it side to side to stretch your neck. And as you lift your right foot off the floor, hold the sole of your left foot and your left knee with both hands and rock side to side. Either thread the needle or Keep on holding here. Deep in the breath. Plant the right foot into the floor. Reach your arms over the head. Lift your hips. Extend your left leg up. Breathe and lower down. Come back onto the ankle to knee. Tip to the left and gently come onto your left elbow. Reach the right arm up. A reclining Buddha fun variation. Very accessible. back onto your spine. Cross your knees. Cross your arms and take a hug. Elbows to the knees. Tone up the core. Open the leggies out. Reach for the tops of the feet and gently cradle here. Press the feet into the floor, arms over the head. Now lift your hips one vertebra at a time and lower the arms down. Bringing the shoulders and the shoulder blades in. Roll your thighs in. Go a little bit higher. And again, the same way, one vertebra at a time. Sequentially roll down. Tuck the tailbone in so it's the last one to hit the floor. Reach the arms over the head. Press them into the floor outside of your mat. Lift up and take the twist over to the other side. Finding that ankle to knee. Deepening the breath. 
Come back to center. Other leg. As you press the right heel into the left knee, lower both forearms into the floor. Gaze over your right shoulder. One more breath here. Now plant your left foot into the floor. Ease down into an ankle to knee. Either threading the needle or holding your sole and knee with both hands and rocking side to side to open the hips. Or if you are looping through, go a little bit lower, make sure both feet are flexed. Breathe here. Take one last breath. Tailbone down. Hinge and release. Flatten the left foot into the floor. Reach your arms over ahead. Lift your right leg up and press your heel. Imprint it into the ceiling or the sky, wherever you're practicing. Toning the left quad and slowly release down. Take the right leg over the left knee. Hook. Hug the other way. So right elbow over the left. Hold. And release. Open the legs out. Cradle pose. Rocking side to side. Your arms are crisscross. Lift the head, neck, and chest. And plant the feet into the floor. One more time. We'll repeat the supported bridge pose. This time, interlacing the fingers and rolling the shoulders in. Lift your hips, roll the thighs in, chin to chest. One more breath. And slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Again, open your arms to the side. Resist the urgency to drop into your tailbone. Go through the entire spinal column. Reach your arms over the head, flatten the feet into the floor. Press the tailbone down. Bend your knees, extend your legs up to the sky, bring your heels together, open the arms and take a hug. Holding here in this inversion. Take a deep breath in and out. Allow the body to reap all the benefits from your practice. In and out. And one last breath. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees. Press the hands into the floor, lift your head, neck and chest, use your arms, come back to sit. Inhale, last breath. Reach up, exhale, back to the center. Well done for this beginner series. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more beginners, advanced, intermediate levels, whatever you like. Thanks for practicing with me. Namaste.